what's up everyone welcome to this video in this video i'm going to give an overview of um, geo major which is which is a measuring tool for blender so geo major has been updated to version 2.0 and it only runs on blender 4.2 and beyond okay if you're going to run in blender on a lower version which is 3.3 and higher you will need to get the geo major 1.1.3 sorry geo major 0 0.1 to 1.7 okay geo major 0 0.1 to 1.7 supports blender 3.3 and higher all right so i'm going to be showing you um geo major 4 sorry geo major 2.0 2.0 all right so the first thing we need to do is to add GeoMeasure to our asset library. So first of all, we are going to extract GeoMeasure from where we downloaded it. Okay, once we downloaded GeoMeasure from the website, which I will link in the description down below, this is GeoMeasure on Gumroad, um, Blender Market, sorry. It's also available on Gumroad. The links will be in the description below. So this is GeoMeasure. Once you've downloaded it and purchased it, you have to uh, make it an asset library to do this is very simple just create a folder which i'm about to do right now create a folder let's call it geo major asset all right now we're going to extract the, the the zip file we downloaded from after buying geo major we're going to download the we're going to extract the zip file so we'll come over here to the folder we have geo major downloaded all right just copy that let's paste it here and extract it right here so now i've gotten geo major extracted you can take a look at this readme um text document it's really important you read this stuff okay so right now i'm going to just leave geo major where it is in this geo major asset folder in our desktop now let's open up the um blender and go to edits then preferences then we scroll all the way down to asset library click this add button now we'll look for the um the folder that's it geo major assets click on it and hit add asset library and that should save automatically. Now we're going to add GeoMeasure from the Asset Browser. Just switch to Asset Browser and go to GeoMeasure Assets. Now this is a 2.0. All right, drag and drop, and boom, we have GeoMeasure in our project. Now to use GeoMeasure is very simple. GeoMeasure is powered by Geometry Node. All right, GeoMeasure is powered by Geometry Node and because it is powered by geometry node, you will see all the settings in the modifier. Alright, so the first option is objects. We have our object right here, just select it. Okay. And that's it. Geometry will automatically take the dimensions, measurements of the of the objects. Okay, now we can start making modifications to these objects. Add a loop cut, edge loop whatever just start modeling and modeling and modeling and uh, the measurements adapt on the fly okay now let's play with the settings right here the first setting is um, aside the object selection and the collection selection you can choose collection if you have a collection and then use this use collection checkbox right now i want to use object so we just leave it that way now the first option is um, in the settings is meter units and it's set to meter so we can switch this to um millimeter which will change this to millimeter we can switch this to centimeter we can switch this to meter we can switch this to inches and last but not least we can um, switch this to foot okay we also have custom units which allows us to add our custom units more on that later so let's switch it back to um, to meter. The next is format style. This allows you to um, 
you know change the format style you want if you select meter you're gonna have the format style look like this three meter 48 centimeter all right three meter 48 centimeter two meter um 94 centimeter you could also switch this to um foot or inches and we're gonna get something like this 11 feet 5 inches 9 feet 8 inches etc that's what the format this the format style mixed unit does okay and then the third option is is still in alpha okay i haven't added a feature yet it will come in the next release hopefully that is the geo major 2.1 so for now it's just these two guys all right so the next option is um, unit scale i don't recommend you touch this this is just optional for those that know what to do with it they can use it it's just basically a multiplier okay yeah if you want the unit to appear bigger than it already is you can use this option then we have decimal that one is explanatory we have markers which adds markers to the rulers the um, dimensional axis ruler we have offsets and scale and text scale okay yep that's it so next the next thing i want to show you is um the rulers okay geometry comes with rulers all right to add ruler just select the geometry objects and uh, enter edit mode or you can go over here enter edit mode now hit shift a or go to the add then bezier now this will add a ruler a curve actually that pretends to be a ruler okay let's switch and um, change this to um poly curve for better control so this is now a curve which is a ruler so we can use this to also take measurements and it has its own settings okay let's go over the settings real quick the first is um unit which is set to default so it's that means it's going to copy this the settings of the, the dimensional axis rulers okay which we've played with in the, in the beginning of the video and the second is a millimeter which looks like this the third is centimeter the um the fourth is meter and sixth and so on and so forth next is um decimals okay Third one is the tech, the scale. Fourth one, fourth option is um, text scale, and 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 so on and so forth. Now we have what we call um ruler preset. This is still experimental, okay? As you can see, these options are still in alpha. Only this one is in beta. It's in beta right now, and it's very new. It's very new. I'll be improving it later on in as geomajor evolves for now it's very experimental right now but you can check it out it's called ruler presets and it allows you to you know it's like a ruler guide it guides you to making your models to fit the right scale of um, you know standard objects like vehicles bikes and so on and so forth they are just called ruler presets all right so let's switch that to none good and yeah that's pretty much it you can enable or disable it okay now the second ruler we have is what we what i call um circle ruler just duplicate the curve and um go to the settings right here go to the curve um they call it um, data in the modifier section go to um sorry in the properties uh properties editor go to the data section then click on active spline then check on this box i click you that will make it a circular ruler right there now let's play with the settings we have ability to set the markers that is the mark one amount okay we can also divide this marker by mark two the mark one amount by a uh, mark two division okay we have the scale settings and so on and so forth offset all right 
okay guys that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i just want to make it as quick as possible and um, if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe give me a likes give me give me thumbs up give me do all the things people do down there all right i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and take care